an embarrassing video of Salva Kiir, the president of South Sudan, has gone viral. In that video, Salva Kiir who was launching, a, and that's not the first embarrassing moment for African president. A few years ago, Robert Mugabe fell after giving his speech in India. Road project in his country could be seen urinating in his own clothes. Salva Kiir was actually shocked by the happening. Today, when we talk of development, the term... We've been speaking to supporters from a podium in the capital Harare. He was walking... Mugabe had been speaking to supporters from a podium in the capital Harare. He was walking to his car when he appeared to miss a step and toppled. His aides quickly held him up and escorted him to his limousine. Some of the photographers who captured the fall said they were forced to delete their pictures by security personnel. And not long ago, you can also remember just during this corona period, the president of Gabon <laughs> was seen or was captured struggling to make steps during an European Union summit in Brussels. And I've been asking myself, what's really wrong with Africans? Salva Kir, as we speak today, is 71 years old. And from the image, it's clear that he has, is suffering from some disease. South Sudan, where he's the president, 82% of the population are uh, in poverty. He has ruled that country since 2011, which means there's clearly no change which he has made. South Sudan is supposed to go to the polls next year. Salva Kiir is one of the people who will be contesting for that presidency. Remember, the election has actually been postponed previously three times. But this particular incident is something which the people of South Sudan, because I'm a Kenyan, by the way, the people of South Sudan should take seriously. I know the world should not be subjected to this kind of uh, embarrassing situation. But the first thing the people of South Sudan should understand is that as things stand today, their president is dealing with some underlying health issues. And therefore, they must help him go home. If they can't do that, then they must be able to protect his image. So for me, Salva Kiir needs to take his time away from politics and focus on dealing with the health issues, which is now obvious from the video which we just witnessed. Also, I also strongly believe that from that video, it is now time for Salva Kiir to call it a day. He needs now to hang his boots. 
You know, Salva Kiir was in the bush. He's led the country for 21 years. I mean, for uh, from 2011 up to now, that's 15 years close. And for me, if you ask me, it is time to hang the boots. I know because of uh, power, Africans really don't leave power. But at least he has been the president. If he had not, then I would uh, excuse him. And of course, I'm not saying that at his age, he cannot be president. Salva Kiri is actually younger than uh, Joe Biden. But now he has some underlying issues, which for me, he needs to really focus on, if you ask me. And I also tend to think, in my view, that those who are handling the president failed him. Why do I believe so? Health issues are things which are obvious. If you looked at the face of Salva Kiir when uh, he realized what has happened, you know, he was shocked himself. But nobody bothered to protect the president. You know, the event was being relayed live. And therefore, it was difficult to shift the camera away from him. At least for the time it was, it started happening. But it took time for the urine to really wet, the, the, the trousers are going downwards. Which means someone somewhere sat on the job. Maybe the media, of course the clips would have still been there, but this was a presidential function. So the presidential team, security team, ought to have gone and probably secured some of the, those uh, cameras and i don't understand how the guys kept on focusing on what was happening for me that's something which should not happen i don't know who is handling his pr public relations or his media team they failed the president and for me they failed africa this is a situation which for me could have been avoided i don't know where he would be putting his head today if he were Kenyan, especially on Twitter. Kenyans on Twitter would be on uh, <laughs> on this guy mercilessly. But it has happened. So for me, for me, I think Africans must start figuring out what is good for them. I've seen a situation where, for example, the president of um, Uganda who has ruled the country for how many years? Probably before some of us were even born. He's still the president. And according to him, he's still going, he's still very strong. So, very shameful incident. I don't know what you think, but I think Africans need to really move away from this kind of embarrassing situation. If you are sick, please focus on your health. If you fear that, uh, if you leave power, Probably you will be targeted. Just rule people fairly and justly. If you rule fairly and justly, you will be protected by the people themselves. I don't know your thoughts on this particular incident.